Welcome to this EdReach Network screencast on Google+. In this screencast, we'll show you how to get started using Google+. And you can get started by going to plus.google.com. When you head to that page, it might look something like this if you have not created a Google Plus account yet. Uh, this is the welcome page. You can click sign in and sign in with your Google account to get started. You'll notice that there's this black bar across the top. We're going to point that out uh, throughout the, the screencast. This is a great way also to get to your account. You can click on the plus you. This will change to your name when you are logged in, uh, but this gives you quick access to Google Plus in the future as well. When you're using any of Google services, you can actually bounce between the different services by using these menus here at the top. Also on the welcome page, we should point out if you scroll down at the bottom, they've got some great tours and some great walkthrough videos for how to use Circles, Hangouts, and Sparks. Uh, some, some great information if you're just starting out for the first time. So here I am logged into Google+. Plus. This is the welcome page. Uh, again, some links to some helpful information if I need it. Let's just talk about how this, this page is laid out for a second. At the top, you have the Google Plus logo. This will take you back to your home page at any time. You can click on this. Across the top here, you have some shortcut buttons. Again, you have a home button. That'll take you to your home page. You have a photos button. That'll take you to the area where you upload photos, your profile, and circles. You can search for people by just typing their name or email address here, and if they're a part of circles, you, you could find them and then add them to a circle. Down the left side, again, here's your profile. If I were to click my name, it would take me to my profile. This is the stream area. As you create circles, which we'll show you in a future screencast, you can easily look at just that circle by clicking on any of these. So these are some great shortcuts. Sparks, we'll show you what Sparks is in a future screencast, but over here on the left side it adds a quick little shortcut to get to any things of interest that you add into Sparks. Just like in Gmail, the chat features are available here, so I could click on any of these people that are online and start instantly chatting with them. Here in the middle it does remind you to update your profile. It's a good idea to update your profile so people that are using Google Plus know who you are uh, if you were to contact them or add them to a circle. On the right side, this shows people that are already in my circles. Uh, if I was looking at a particular circle, if I was just looking at my family circle, this would just show the people that are, that are in that circle. Suggestions for people I might want to add to a circle. Hangouts, we'll show a little bit about Hangouts in the future. Uh, video chatting, so you can easily start a Hangout just by clicking this green button. And currently this uh, Google Plus app is available on Android devices, so you could click here to go get that for your Android phone. It should be coming to iOS devices soon. Down in the bottom is the Send Feedback button. This is a great feature because uh, Google Plus is so new. If there are any problems, uh, you can click Send Feedback, and what this tells you to do then is you can click and draw a square on the screen to kind of highlight the problem of the of, of Google Plus or the area that was causing a problem. So what you can do is highlight that area and then type out a quick little blurb and then hit preview. It'll show you what it's going to send to the development team and then it'll send that message to them with a visual. So a great way to offer some feedback to help Google Plus improve. So that is just kind of an intro to getting into Google+. Be sure to check out our other screencasts for some of the specific features that are part of Google+. Thanks for watching.